Hello everyone and welcome to the Google Web Toolkit presentation from Neotis. So Neoloads GWT module allows you to test applications that use the Google Web Toolkit technology. And GWT is just a protocol used by some rich internet applications to communicate with the server. So with the Neoload GWT module, you can record and playback GWT messages, convert GWT traffic to XML to make scenario designing a little bit easier for you. So Neoload sits between the browser and the server, capturing GWT requests coming from the browser and the GWT responses going from the server back to the browser. And during the test, Neoload's load generators replicate the GWT requests and validate the GWT responses coming back to the server. So now we're going to use Neoload to record a GWT application. In this case, it's going to be a wiki. And then at the end of the recording, we'll see how we can modify the GWT requests to make the scenario dynamic and a little bit more realistic. So we're going to go ahead and start a recording. We'll just rename our virtual user. So we're going to carry out the first transaction. We'll make a container and go to the home page. And we're going to log in. And now let's see who Matthew's friends are. Apparently these are Matthew's friends. <laughs> and now we're going to take a look at one of his friends' profiles in detail. So we'll create that container. And go ahead and look up his friend. So this is Alexander's profile. He likes math. <laughs> and now we're going to log out and stop our recording. So at the end of the recording, Neoload's GWT module indicates which classes are missing. And without these classes, the GWT requests can't be decoded and are difficult to understand. So we're going to go ahead and see what Neoload has recorded so far. So here's a GWT request. That yellow triangle indicates that it hasn't been decoded yet. And here it is in detail. So under these conditions, it's difficult to make the request dynamic. So we're going to add the missing classes. We'll just import that file. And now we'll look for a GWT request and see what it looks like now that the classes have been added. So we're just going to flag our GWT requests. So the request is now in XML format and the values are clearly shown and are easy to configure. So now we're going to modify the scenario to make it dynamic and realistic. So now we're going to find the page containing the list of Matthew's friends. And we're just going to flag that request. So now we're going to extract the list of all of Matthew's friends. To do that, we'll open up our advanced editor, go into our variable extractors, and determine the variable to extract. And we're going to retrieve the information from the XML node. So the XML path is included automatically in NeoLoad. Then we'll just select the starting and ending values. And there's the extracted value. So we're going to modify the XML node to retrieve all of the values. So we'll extract all occurrences. And this time we've retrieved the entire list. So now we're going to choose a random value. So now we're going to find the profile we looked at in detail during the recording. It was Alexander's profile. 
So we'll just flag those requests. And we'll insert the variable that we created previously. So we'll just insert that variable and we'll apply it. And now we're going to find the server response containing the profile. So now we're just going to go in and flag requests whose recorded response contains my passion mathematics. And we'll extract the profile. We'll go into our advanced tool, into our variable extractor. We'll title it. We're going to extract from an XML node. And we'll go ahead and do that. Select the starting and ending values. And now it's extracted. And now we're going to validate our virtual user. And we'll start that check. Perfect, the virtual user is validated. And Matthew's friend is selected at random. As you can see, Sergey now appears. So we're just going to check to make sure this new person's profile shows up in the subsequent requests. The extracted value displays a new profile, so the server response therefore is updated to reflect the friend selected previously. And this concludes Neotis's Google Web Toolkit presentation. Thanks again for joining us. If you have any questions or concerns, feel free to reach out. We look forward to hearing from you. Thanks again.